So they actually played a set at Zero Requiem just a couple days ago, and it was game three. Yanni did take it. That was the game that was that they played to get out of pools. Wow. Uh, that was loser side of pools too. That correct? was loser side of wow. pools. Yes. So uh, Yanni says that it was a very close game. Yeah, it is. I mean, it come down to game three last hit. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yanni really improving as of late. Oh yeah, no, he's he's, he's definitely leveling up. He's kind of crazy. <laughs> like his Bowser Jr. is super good. Uh, but earlier low one definitely did kind of take it to him with his Diddy. Maybe Rog taking some notes off of that. Could Un be. Uh, I know that Yanni said that his Cloud actually did was harder for him against uh, two days ago than Diddy. But, okay. But we'll see. Maybe he's made some adjustments with his Diddy. Yeah, actually, her, Rog went like Cloud, Falcon, Diddy or something like that, right? Is that correct? Uh, I don't know about the Falcon, but he, uh, yeah, otherwise. Yeah, he definitely was using a few other characters. But Rog, to stick into his uh, his true here, his Diddy. Yeah, it's working out for him. Yeah, this seems very uh, a very strong start here. And, you know, that forward air allowing him to stuff out the cart almost every time Yanni starts it up. But here we go. That down air sets up for so much for Bowser Jr. Yeah. You can get dash attack at low percents, back air, forward air. And even if they miss tech, you can just jab lock too, which is kind of crazy, which is insane. You normally don't look for it too yeah. much. Not something that I see Yanni go for very often either. Ooh, the down tilt, but, you know, Bowser Jr. being a little heavier, not going to die to that just yet. Mm -hmm. Let's see, you know, Yanni's still really in this, though, even though, like, yeah, just honestly, don't air dodge. Oh, okay. okay, that was... Yeah, he's stuffing out all the cart startups. Like, every time he starts up a cart, it's a forward air in his face, a back air. Um, you know, definitely not allowing him, because that's kind of Yanni's game. Yeah, Yanni's, he loves his cart. Yanni plays around the cart, plays around the Mecha Koopa. He doesn't really go for crazy strings. He just wants to trap you. Like, si situations like that. He wants to make you uncomfortable. Yeah, you know that you know that really annoying Forgorly Sonic that yeah. just always spin dashes? Like, he's that, Bowser Jr., and Except, good. Yeah, he's just not as good of a character, sadly. Not as good of a character, better player than most of the Forgorly's from. Yes, for uh, sure. Uh, but, you know, like you said, you kind of have to uh, respect Bowser Jr. Very similar to how you respect Sonic. And Bowser Jr. definitely puts a little more pressure on your shield. Like, Sonic definitely does put pressure on your shield, but, like, cart exploding? Yeah, the Mega cart Koopa, exploding is very scary. Good job not getting hit by that down air. That's something we saw Rog going for a lot earlier. Yeah, the other thing, and that Rog is doing a very good job here, is when he is in his cart on the ground, you, you can only damage him if you hit Larry himself, not the Mecha Koopa, or the cart. Yep. So he's always hitting him in the dumb Koopa face. Yeah, in the in the dumb Koopa face. Yeah, you showed him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, see right there, that was cart, and he gets back aired. Because of it. Yeah. Right, you really got to space it correctly. And that's why, like, trying to punish the cart is it's very difficult, very, actually. Very difficult. Like, so, Rog has been doing a very good job of that so far, and that looks like that was not the best DI. There was no red lightning. No red uh, lightning, but it was 148. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure, because uh, I know that it, I don't know what it, I mean, we won't get too crazy about the percents, but it was yeah, definitely close. Yeah, no, I, 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 I know some weird stuff about the red lightning that would be yeah. of no interest to anybody here. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> uh, so game two, uh, this is best of three probably, right? Uh, yeah, semis, yeah. I think just loser finals will be best of five as well as grands from here on out. All right. So, so yeah, this is, you know, the, the last game for Yanni. Possibly he's going to have to step it up here. Going back to FD, didn't work out. They did have FD last game, right? Am I crazy? Uh, no, they had uh, Smashville, right? Well, that's all right. We have short-term memory loss, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I, I would have said yes in, like forever unless, until you made me doubt myself. You're right. I definitely Why is everybody me. making me doubt myself today? Anyway, uh, so Yanni's actually getting his stuff starting pretty well to, uh, this game. Yeah, starting really strong. A lot better than last game for sure. Uh, ooh, we went up there, kind of waiting for the air dodge to hit that hammer, but Rog not getting into him and just fast falling. But yeah, Yanni putting the pressure on. The cart's being a little more effective. Yeah, like that right there. Just spacing just enough and far enough away where he's not going to get stuffed. He's even dodging the forward airs that were being really effective for Rog earlier, too. Rog, going to have to make an adjustment for that. But Yanni definitely making the adjustments for game two. Yeah, Rog caught that Mega Koopa, tried to throw it forward immediately. Uh, going to need a little bit better item play than that. Uh, I like how Yanni's even crossing up the shield with Cart now. Like, that is... Yeah, that is something actually Yanni likes to, to go for a lot. Also, uh, we just saw Yanni ran over the banana yep. with his Cart. That is actually something that... Bowser Jr. can do. Like, he doesn't need, like, if the banana is on the ground, he does not need to respect it. He can just cart right over it. Yeah, the banana not being as essential as in, uh, you know, other, you know, matchups. Because the banana hinders a lot of stage presence for most characters. But, like you said, Bowser Jr. not caring too much, just gonna go cart right over. Yeah, Yanni needs to take this stock before it gets too out of hand. And, and down air will it. do it. Not a move you see very often uh, as a kill move, but it works just fine there. Yeah, it works fine, you know, and as well as you don't know if you're going right or left. 
You know, so the DI very uh, difficult to hit sometimes correctly. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow. Okay, no punish from Rog there, but he does eventually get one. Uh, it's just going to be a jab. Still looking for this kill. 141, I mean, there's a lot of options he has now. Yeah, like it doesn't matter how much damage. Excuse me? Okay, well. Did he start his card up? Maybe that put him mm, out there? Maybe. Ooh, the footstool. Oh. Okay, no lock right yeah, there. Yeah, trying, trying for the Geo combo. That combo is so crazy. What is it, like 30 to 40 percent? It's, it's guaranteed. It's, it's a lot more than uh, like up throw, back air, back air. Yeah, so. exactly. Ooh, the cart even putting a little bit of pressure down there. Yanni really known for uh, going for a bit of simpler there. Really known for putting his cart out there, and not being too scared to be out of the cart because you see somebody in shield and like, wow, great stuff by Rob right there, just keeping Ooh. him out though with all the aerials. Yeah, how does Yanni get back? We're back. But yeah, he loves, if you see somebody shield too much and his cart's not being effective, he'll just drop it on you. Yeah. And, and like force you to get out of shield. Yeah, it's not something that you really need to be too scared of doing. Uh, Bowser Jr.'s aerials when he doesn't have a cart are actually very scary. They're, f they're fast. They're, they're, they're very, very fast, quick. very strong. Great banana play right there by Yanni. Oh, using the banana to get a free dash attack. Let's see, um, you know, 123 though, he's kind of flying up in the percents. Yeah, he's... Ooh, yeah. He can use this rage if he can get something started, but yeah, you know, he's got to get something started. He's probably got to win one or two more neutral exchanges before the rage really becoming a factor, but yeah. we're not even going to see that. Clap, up smash. Yeah, it's a good setup. Let me tell it's you something. It's a very good <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we wasted our potential for the for the uh, hoo-ha combo on down throw up air.